Hello everyone, it's Marnie. So, as it says below, this will be the September unboxing for the Creative Inspirations box. So, September's theme is Beneath the Surface. So, as you can guess, it's an ocean based theme for this month. And I have looked at everything in here. I've been trying to record this video a lot and I've had a lot of interruptions and my battery keeps dying on my camera. So hopefully it will stay on this time. So the paper in this month is blue. And it's a really nice blue. And I'm hoping I can fix the parts that I ripped on it. Right, so when I first opened this box from the um, postage bag, you could smell like a really sweet smell in it. Um, my first guess was candle. My daughter's first guess was a lolly. And like always, my daughter's nose is very accurate when it comes to lollies. And there's a lolly in it. So this is the Mermaid Lolly by Treat Factory. Um, it's tutti fruity flavour. The lolly itself serves 10 people apparently. It's a really sugary lolly and all that. Um, one aspect of this lolly that I really really love is it states on the back that giving this lolly to kids can cause an adverse effect on their activity and attention. So straight away I told my kids it's off limits. It was off limits anyway because it's a sugar based lolly and they go nuts when they have sugar. Um, but outside of that it's a really cute lolly. You kind of feel bad ripping like even ripping her face apart to try and eat it. Although she does kind of have one big eye and one little eye it looks a bit freaky. But outside of that it's a really cute lolly. Alright, well, like I said, I guess candle. I was right, there is a candle in this box. This is from Burn the Wick Candle Co. I have this company on Instagram, I'll try and leave a link down below to her Instagram account. At the moment she's doing some really October themed um, candles, um, Camp Crystal Lake, um, Nightmare on Elm, um, I'm pretty sure she's doing a Halloween one, and there's a few others, but she's doing some really nice October Halloween themed candles at the moment, which I've been looking into. This is the first candle of hers I've gotten. Um, I have opened this candle a few times, it has a really nice, relaxing, strong smell to it, and it's amazing. It's also got a different styled lid to candles that I've seen, and the glitter has came off onto the lid. Um, sorry, that's the smell of the candle. It's like it comes out really, really quickly, and it's a really nice smell. And it's really strong. Um, it's sea breeze, sandalwood, and lime. It's really relaxing too. Part of me just wants to leave it open in a room, but then I know it lose its scent a lot quicker. So it's like a blue candle with a red glitter. I'm hoping that'll pick up the blue. But it's a really, really, really lovely smelling candle. I can't wait to burn it and see how all well the smell will come up from that. And at the same time, I'm worried about burning it because it's a really lovely smell and I don't want to run out of the candle. Alright, so, the, sorry, I forgot. The candle is called Verena. Verena? Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, this is inspired by the book that's in this box. Um, as you can tell, I've recorded that many times, I'm just losing words and how I was saying it before. So the next thing is a little bag that usually has like badges of jewellery in it. This one has jewellery and it's like a really, really... I was blown away by the colours on this, I'm hoping it will come up on the camera. It's a shell necklace and it's meant to be a teal and gold um, necklace but it's really really pretty and it's like all if I can get it I don't know if I'm going to be able to I don't know if that's going to pick up the glitter but it is all glittery and it's like really 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 pretty um, and I do need to buy another box of clear nail polish because my skin hates anything touching it it hates everything in general um, I have to coat my nail, my jewellery in nail polish to be able to wear it. Okay, so the next thing is absolutely adorable. Um, at first I thought this was a little figurine, a little mermaid figurine. 
but it's actually a lip gloss holder. It's got lip gloss in it. Um, it's lip gloss is strawberry flavoured, so I'll be keeping it like heaps far away from my child because she's allergic to strawberries. Um, let's see if I can. It smells really nice too. It smells like lollies, but it's like a pink with a white swirl. Yet another thing my skin hates, I can't use this because it's got a chemical in it that makes me scratch like mad and I end up with sores. Um, but it's going to be awesome to have sitting on like a shelf or something. There's like a little figurine. I reckon it's cute and adorable and I love how she's holding the pearl and how they've got her facial expression is like calm and happy. It's adorable and amazing. Alright. So the next thing is something I probably don't need but I always say I need and I want and I love getting no matter what. And it's like a notebook. Little notepad and I love it because the lines ain't solid lines they're like little dots I always feel bad doing G's and P's night because you cut the line to put in the stroke but this one has little dots I can try and line them up as weird as I am with that um, also I love like the fish scale and mermaid scale sort of design this was done by Creative Inspirations they actually did the notebook design it's really cute and adorable and it'll sit well with all my other notebooks because I just have an range of notebooks everywhere. Um, the next thing is their awesome bookmarks, which blow me away every time I get one because they're really well designed. This one is like your underwater theme. Yet again, these are created by Creative Inspirations and they've got like a greeny, tealy coloured um, tessel which is really awesome. I like this kind of colour green. And they have your book review on the back. I really love this idea and design. It's awesome. I keep all of my bookmarks with the book that I get from that month. So I fill out the bookmarks to what I first originally thought of the book from reading it. And then, because I also write reviews into another book at the same time, when I reread, I can go back, check the review, and see if anything's changed after I think I wait a year or half a year before I reread a book. But I reckon that's awesome because then I don't have to look too far to remember what my original thoughts were of that book. It also helps me after the first time I've read it to go back and pinpoint what I feel like reading. Okay, now. The next thing is an artwork by Alexandra Petrick. Sorry if I'm saying names wrong, but I'm very bad at pronouncing names. And this is absolutely stunning. Um, I can't swim, but I do love water themes and underwater. Um, it's like I'm not an astronaut, but I love the sky and space and stars and light. But this is gorgeous. I will get around to doing my art wall where I put all of these up onto a wall and I might vlog that day and just record me organising and all that, all the artwork and that that I've gotten from book boxes and just putting up as a collage display on my wall. Um, originally Creative Inspirations had black um, frames and they've changed to white. I'm actually really enjoying the white. It will go with the black as a contrast thing. But outside of that, this is amazing. I mean, I love it. If I could swim and I'd go underwater, I'd love to take actual photographs like that, but, you know, I can't swim. Which sounds funny because I live in a country that's surrounded by water. Alright, so the last thing is the book of the month. Now, this book I've seen on Instagram, like, plenty of times. Like, I've seen it everywhere. But I actually haven't looked into it. Like I kept going, oh, maybe eventually I'll look into it. But because of all the books I've been needing to read at the moment, try and catch up with and get through, obviously, as you can see, my library pile kind of got back up again too. Um, 
I just put it off going all right I don't need another one but the one that they sent is crown of coral and pearl which is like a bumpy feeling with the thing oh it, the book is by Mara Ruthford Rothford but yeah it's got like little the coral bits all bumpy and all shiny and it's really pretty and like I said even though I can't swim I love ocean themed generally anything. Right, so the synopsis of this book is for generations the princess of Ilara has have married the most beautiful maiden sorry, the prince of Ilara has married the most beautiful maidens from the ocean village of Verena. But though every girl longs to be chosen as the next princess, the cost of becoming royalty is higher than any of them could ever imagine. Nor once dreamed of seeing the wonders, wondrous wealthy and beauty of Ilara, the kingdom that's ruled her village for as long as anyone could remember. But when a childhood accident left her with a permanent scar, it became clear that her identical twin sister, Zadie, would likely be chosen to marry the crown prince, while Nor remained behind, unable to ever set foot on land. Then Zadie is gravely injured and Noor is sent to Ilara in her place. To Noor's dismay, her future husband, Prince Siren, is has forbidding and cold as his home, a castle carved into a mountain and devoid of sunlight. And as she grows closer to Siren's brother, the charming pin, Prince Talin, Noor uncovers startling truths about the failing royal bloodline a murdered queen and a plot to destroy the home she was once so eager to leave. In order to save her people, Nor must learn to negotiate the treacherous protocols of court which lies which court where lies reign and obsessions rules. But discovering her own formidable strength may be the one move that costs her everything. The Crown, Verena and Sadie. So it's actually really sounds really really interesting not my usual read or in a way not my usual read but something that I do want to read and see how it turns out sounds like there could be a lot of plot twists and exciting adventures to go on so hopefully I'll eventually get around to this when I finish every other book that I've got piled up and stacked in different places of my house. So that is the September book box for Creative Inspirations. Like always I'll leave a link down below for Creative Inspirations. Um, I think at this time they're still not doing um, international um, postage and all that. They're only doing Australia and New Zealand. I do believe they have plans on changing that or trying to change that after working out some stuff but at this current moment they haven't done it yet. Um, like always I believe Creative Inspiration is like a five star box every time I get a new one it's exciting it's amazing there's new stuff in it it doesn't just bring excitement for me it brings excitement for my whole family they want to see what's in it they want to experience it generally they want to steal my stuff that's in it too except for my book thankfully. Um, so it brings a lot of joy to everyone in my household and Nikki's an amazing person to be able to talk to and communicate with and I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that this box was made up of and I'll see you later. Bye!